selflessness we're talking about selflessness selflessness that means you're giving of yourself you are not selfish but selfless it's about not it's about not about you rather put it this way it's not about you alone it's about others also bible talks about the woman called tabitha or also called docas in acts chapter 9 tabitha was selfless he was doing things for people he was so selfless that always it's all about making something for people being available for people creative such that he was knitting this for people making this for people just about people he was he was a people person and at there come a, came a time when Tabitha died. People wouldn't allow her die. They said, no, she can't afford to go. She cannot die. They had to send for Peter. The bottom line is that Peter raised Tabitha. Tabitha arose again. Her seed, her selflessness brought her back to life. It is worth to be selfless. It is worth being selfless. It is worth it. Really, really worth it. Giving of yourself. Jesus was selfless. It's a seed. It produces results. It comes back in good measure. It pays. It pays to be selfless. Don't let anything discourage you. Somebody has abused your selflessness or taken advantage of it. Don't be discouraged. Those are distractions along the way. You are getting somewhere and you don't want someone to stop you in ministry. It's a ministry. A ministry of service. So continue to be selfless. Jesus was selfless. You were made in his nature. And you have to continue to be like your father, so selfless. So continue to be selfless. It will pay off at the end of the day. Avoid getting discouraged. Selflessness pays. Your outcome shall be seen by all. Congratulations, because I know that your testimony is right around the corner. Selflessness pays. Take care and God bless.